Hey everyone, Doug here. Uh, just wanted to give a quick tick video update on our NAX adapter saga. Uh, check out episode 15 if you haven't seen that to bring you up to date. But since then, uh, just a couple weeks after posting that video, I got an email from Ford. So that our official adapter is on its way. And uh, on September 12th, it uh, showed up yeah! via FedEx. In this little package from NAX. At the end of August, when I put that video up, we started to hear rumors of uh, a ramp up in production of these adapters, uh, which is a good thing because they are quite, they've been quite behind. Uh, and now, as of September 18th, GM joins the Tesla supercharging network, so they're going to need even more. Uh, good news for third party adapter sellers as well. So anyway, this is our adapter here. This is what it looks like. Pretty straightforward. It looks a lot like the Magic Dock, if you've ever seen one of those. Tesla plug goes into here. This goes into your car. There's the latch to release the Tesla plug. The latch to release from the car. You may have noticed I've got a case here. Uh, I bought this third party from on Amazon. I actually bought the same case for the Electron. It's actually a, a case for a Zoom microphone. Uh, but it works pretty well. I had to slice up some of the foam to, to get a little tighter fit. Uh, it does work with all the foam in there. But for the Ford unit, uh, I, I cut out the little net that's in there and um, cut out the this opening to fit the adapter a little better. Fits in there pretty well. Uh, a to Z comes with its own case, and it's a very nice case, and it is already form-fitted and... Uh, very nice. And then because I have two of the same cases, I bought a sticker, <laughs> a Ford sticker to identify this as the official Ford adapter. So I wanted to elaborate a little bit on the uh, connection comments that I made in the previous video. Um, first of all, the procedure for using the official adapter is to plug the Tesla plug into the adapter and then plug the adapter into the car. Uh, and then to um, unplug, you you uh, disconnect your charge through the car, through the app, uh, and then unplug this from the car, and then unplug the, um, the Tesla plug from the adapter. And that's where some of the challenge could be. If you've seen the, the Ford video, the best way to do that is to hold the adapter in one hand, the Tesla plug is here, and release with your finger here, and then pull the Tesla plug out. That might be a little awkward. It seems a little more natural to want to pull the plug out like this. Pull that out. And to do that with the Ford adapter is a little more difficult. The plug's here to try to get under there, and this is where some of the, the challenge can be. Um, and if you're, if you're, don't have a strong grip, um, arthritis, uh, you know, whatever, doing this process might be a little more difficult. For us, it's not a problem. Um, the procedure for the electron and the A to Z, of course, is to plug this into the car first and then the, the Tesla plug into the adapter. Uh, it helps to have this trigger underneath to release the lock a little bit to make the plug go in more easily. And then the same with the A to Z, which is on the top, actually. Um, you push that there, and then the plug goes in here. With the A to Z, I had a little trouble at first when I tested it, uh, mostly because I didn't push the trigger down to, to ease the uh, plug going in to this end. We have not tested this specific Ford adapter, uh, but we have tested an official Ford adapter um, before. We know it works well, not surprisingly. Um, of course, designed by Tesla, I think built by Tesla. Um, connects easily, no problem. 
and works pretty well. Between the three adapters, I think most likely we'll be using the official adapter as our primary, mostly because uh, Ford and Tesla still don't recommend either of these two. Um, we know they work well, um, but just to avoid problems, we'll probably uh, use this one first and foremost. Checking out a lot of videos and reading uh, on the forums. Overall, I think all of these have been working pretty well for everybody. We're happy to have them as backups. Um, I think that greatest fear and more concern, not so much about this not working, but about theft or about damage. If we drop this, if uh, something happens to this one while we're on a road trip, it's nice to have a backup or two in this case uh, that we know work well. So we're very happy to have these. Uh, so thank you Ford for the free one. Uh, thank you Electron and A to Z for making great products for those who have to wait. Um, good luck GM folks. We are very much looking forward to our next road trip. We think with the options of using Tesla, it's gonna be a lot easier. Uh, we're still not going to completely avoid EA, Electri America, or EVgo, or some of the other CCS charging locations. Uh, but it's just nice to be able to, there, just there are more options with Tesla. Uh, we're confident they'll be reliable. Um, so yeah, the comfort factor will be much higher. Uh, but that's going to be in the end of September, our next road trip. So down to Northern California, we will shoot video. We'll put something together, tell you all about it. Look forward to that. Uh, in the meantime, happy motoring. Thanks for watching.